you know, for those of us who love to chase bluegills in the middle of winter, can come to an agreement that sometimes they just get plain right, downright moody. So moody that they're literally lethargic-like, and it doesn't matter what we do, they're just not going to feed. I'm in the middle of winter here, the dead of winter, all the weeds have died off, pretty much. There may be a little carpet here and there, but I'm actually fishing a back bay here, and it's featureless, literally featureless. It's a huge basin of absolute nothingness. It's kind of like fishing for perch and Simcoe. They're going to come in pods. Same thing here. The bluegill are mo they're roaming, they're moving around, but they're just not staging up anywhere. So I'm going to show a trick that I've been using for the last five or six years here. Um, I kind of like to bring the fish to me. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, come check this out. How about that? I like to make my own structure. I got this idea a few years back when I was visiting uh, Cabela's. Uh, you know the big box stores, Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops, and they have those great big aquariums? That's where I got my idea. So I did some research and found where they uh, got their weeds from, and now I make my own structure and I get to take it home with me. doesn't really take much to get me excited and that is why I have to use these short rods by St. Croix these little 17 inch rods because they're actually perfect to palm the reel set it on my knee and with the spring I can get that perfect bounce even though I got a little shake because of my excitement what's really cool about the St. Croix rods is their tip here because it can harness multiple different strengths of spring indicators much better than those aftermarket ones that you would fasten right to the blank these are perfect for inside the shanty, especially sight fishing for uh, panfish. You know, a lot of times I much prefer using spikes over waxworms simply because spikes are a lot more tougher skinned and they last a lot longer and they stay alive much more better, much better than the waxworm. The waxworms are very paper thin and most of the time you have to take that waxworm and you have to thread it on the hook. Look at that. How could a bluegill not want to munch down on that baby? There we go. That's what we're talking about. There we go. I'm contributing to the family meal. catch why don't you come and check out my fish fine all right where's all these fish are yakking about Oh, oh, oh. Look at these. Come on. Jeez, those are all too small. You should put them all back.